Welcome back. You're still watching Wake Up Nigeria. Now it's time for relationships. Hmm. Now, relationships have to be going in a certain direction. And most of the time, young people hope that a relationship might lead to marriage. But there are some important things that couples need to do before saying I do. And that's what we're here to talk about today. Michelle Emogware is here with us. She's a certified family life and CBT practitioner, the founder of Insight to Wellness. Great to have you back. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Now, uh, this list of things, before you say I do, are you mm. sure you're not talking about the yam, the pamoy, the sugar, <laughs> all the things that they need to deliver to the family? Oh you're not my. talking about that? Absolutely not. No? Absolutely not. Okay, <laughs> so what are we talking about? We're talking about being ready mm. for what marriage is. Okay. You know, and the very f first thing you have to understand is marriage is work. You know, people going to relationships thinking just because they feel a certain way that's enough to make a relationship work but there's a whole lot that it takes for a marriage to be successful and it's important to have that information before you get into the marriage there's this um, idea that okay we'll make it up as we go but that is like a recipe for failure. Some people are able to get the help and intervention and you know they're able to patch things up, do the damage control and it works. Okay. But for a lot of people it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. You know, so having that firm understanding before you get into the it marriage. It feels like there's a list, like there's a checklist we need to start <laughs> marking. Uh, and it feels like that list might be very long. So mm. where do we start? It's, it's a lot of things honestly and we can't go over it but there are some very important things to note. Okay. Um, so when you're in a relationship with someone for instance um, you, you, you want to understand, first of all, what's the purpose of this relationship? Okay. So if you're dating someone, um, what's the purpose of this relationship? Are you looking, because dating really is like more casual, right? So if marriage is your goal, then you have to, of course, when you start, it doesn't mean that um, you're going to insist that you're the person I'll marry, because you don't even know who this person is. Sure. So understanding who you are, first of all, and what your needs are, for me, that's the first thing you should check of that list. So what do I need? What do I need what? to be complete? Or what do I need to uh, be able to move forward? Right. What, what exactly are those needs you're trying to pinpoint? For you, what are your values? Okay. That is so, so important because sometimes we feel like it doesn't matter. We just, we focus, a lot of people are focused on the emotion. So we lead with our emotions. But that, will get, that wouldn't get you far. So who are you? What are your values? Okay. What are the things that are important to you in a relationship? And it's also important, and we don't pay attention to it, how, um, um, how has your upbringing impacted you? Okay. We usually don't pay attention to that. We believe that because it happened in the past, you know, it's in the past, but we're you know, constantly impacted by our upbringing, the experiences that we've had, even the environment that we grew up in. So you have to understand how all these things impact you as a person and how you know, it makes you show up in the world and what your needs are. And then you have to understand how it's also impacting the other person okay. and how both of you can, because all those things will help you um, come up with the beliefs. So because the, the, the way you grew up form your beliefs and the way you see the world, and it also forms the other person's beliefs. So you have to be able to align those things. So are these actual open conversations, mm -hmm. questions that you need to uh, be able to ask and answer? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because in the end, uh, we can only speak from a woman's perspective. Mm. And women, sadly, in this day and age, we've heard of so many women just put money on the table first and say, mm. okay, he must have money. He must be financially capable to yeah. take care of yeah. my needs, yeah. uh, so to speak. Mm. But then finances and values, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which so, one is, so, is so a heavier so money, need? Money is important, right? Okay. But um, we know a lot of people who have money. And if they could do it again, they would rather go for values. Okay. If they could do it again, they would rather go for values. So you can make your own money as a woman. And th this is my personal opinion. You shouldn't put money first, but this is my personal opinion. You know, everybody is entitled to, you know, their opinion. Values are so important. Who the person is, person's character, you know, where they are coming from, the, the way they see the world, those things are so important. Because that is what determines whether this person is going to be faithful to you, treat you as a human being, you know, whether this person is going to um, value you, you know. 
So, so those things are very, very, um, very important. Especially and, when and, you said value yeah. you, I started thinking value you more than the money he has in his accounts. That was how I ended the sentence. Va I don't know. It's not part of this Value stuff. you as a human <laughs> being. Because sometimes um, people see um, the other person as, how do I put it now, something to own, something to make their lives better. And yes, you should go into a relationship, you know, hoping that the other person will add value to you. Sure. But you should also go into the relationship hoping that you would add value intended to add value to the other person. And you know, you said something about, is it a conversation they should have? Sometimes yes. there are conversations to have, and you should have conversations, but other times you need to open your eyes to what you're observing. Sometimes the words and the actions don't match. Okay. So if the actions don't match the wonderful words, mm. you need to pay attention to the actions and make okay. your decisions based on that. So Let me so touch important. on the issue of children. Okay. Uh, as quickly as possible. Okay. Uh, what sort of conversations do you have to have before saying I do? Okay, about how many kids we want to have. <laughs> yeah, so have that. Mm. You know, but, but the truth is, like I said, there are certain things that, you know, you can't, not, not like you can't have the conversation, but what if a person doesn't tell you the truth, mm. you know? Um, so yes, have the conversation about children, how many children, how are we going to raise our children? You know, because that is also something that causes um, issues in the in the marriage one person thinks you're too strict you don't think you're too soft so how are we going to raise the children why should we raise them that way those conversations um should be had but the truth is there are certain things that you only discover when you get into the marriage sure. people change and they should change but you're hoping that they won't change for for the worse so you need to be open to personal growth you know how can i grow to accommodate this person and, you know, both ways. So right. leave room for, for growth. All right, then. Some tough conversations <laughs> before saying I do. It's not just about the color of the Ashwa B and the venue. It's about a lot more. We'd love to take your take on uh, this particular issue. Use our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC, at TVC Connect, and we'll see if we can answer your questions. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for having me. Thanks for an amazing month. All Thank right, you. then. At this point, we're going to be wrapping it up on relationship conversation, but the kitchen is alive and kicking.